It was a sunny day on Wall Street as the traders, the brokers, the speculators mingled with the spectators, waiting, waiting, waiting for word from on high. Tuesday, September 18th, the day the Federal Reserve Bank gave Wall Street a major gift by cutting interest rates one half of one percent. There was euphoria, hip hip hooray, stocks soared, and I was there to observe the action, doing what we call stand-ups, or in this case, a sit-down. But don't blame yourself or YouTube if you can't hear it. Our camera had audio problems, so instead of a talkie, we bring you a silent movie. But that's okay, because in many ways, we were going back in time anyway, as the Fed tried to save the market and the investors from themselves. More than a trillion dollars has been lost in this crisis, more than a hundred thousand jobs so far, as many as two million homes face foreclosure. And on top of that, the ripple effect is already going around the world and scaring the pants off of more people who can afford the best pants than anyone else. I went with my crew to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York to find out why they were doing what they were. I know they have a reputation for secrecy, but this was ridiculous. They would only allow us to shoot a wall in a building that looks like a medieval prison. Their cops wouldn't let us in. We needed permission. Welcome to Bush League America. Back on the street, I spoke to an insider who admitted to me uh, that only very rich people will benefit from this interest rate cut and agreed with me that many of the people who profited on the subprime Ponzi scheme would be or should be arrested. As I was trying to do more interviews, three TV crews interviewed me just for being in the right place at the right time. Maybe because I was wearing a suit, I must have looked authoritative. And maybe viewers of Reuters, Tokyo TV, and a French TV station will now hear my denunciations of the crimes of Wall Street, something I've been writing about on MediaChannel.org. The funniest moment in the day came earlier uh, when I was dropping into a Borders bookstore around the corner to follow a call of nature. As I was walking in, Alan Greenspan was walking out. Can you believe it? So I grabbed him and said hello and, and introduced him to DJ Woletsky, who is with me. And uh, I don't think anybody will believe it. So I decided, let me get his autograph. So I handed him a dollar bill, and sure enough, sure enough, Alan Greenspan scribbled on it. And here it is. Take a look over here. The scribble of Alan Greenspan. Unbelievable. Nevertheless, Maybe he'll get arrested for defacing currency. I would hope so. But there I was with the high priest of finance, Greenspan himself. It's all in a day's work. I'm your news dissector, Danny Schechter, with DJ Wolewski for Media Channel.